We are up here at Parkview Cottages Resort in Ludington, Michigan. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be giving you a full detailed tour of the cottage we are staying in. We've been here for a few hours now so it's been somewhat occupied so it might look a little messy in spots. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with our tour. There's the sign. And actually before we go for a tour, let's go around and do a little walk around to the property. There's a few other buildings here. I don't know if they're occupied or not. I'm sure one or two of them might be. And there's my dad's car, 2013 Honda Civic. I believe the LX model, it's the basic one. Here's the other side of our cottage. Here's some more cottages. These ones are smaller than the one that we are touring. I am led to believe they are occupied too. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with our tour, shall we? We're going back around to the front of the cottage. Now before we actually go inside, if you take a look at this cottage, it almost looks as if it's had some repairs done, but it's also seen better days or looks old. It might not look like much on the outside, but once you come in, wait till you're in for a surprise. So here we go. This looks like a brand new front door, one that was put on not too long ago. Push the door open a little hard. Try to get the muscle. This door is closing. I'm gonna close this one. And over here, this is like the little entryway where you put your shoes and stuff. And look at all the wood in here. It's wood walls, wood ceiling, tile floor. Little chair for you to sit in. And they even provide an umbrella. Well, I don't know if they provide it or if somebody who I'm traveling with brought that. They even provide these tools. Where I can. I'm just taking my shoes off. Alright, let's head on in. This is the main living room of the cottage. I'll go ahead and close up the store. Look at that nice wood door. So anyway, this is the main living room. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn the light off and probably get a better view. Comes with a couple chairs, a little love seat. It's carpeted. Wood walls, weird type of ceiling. The TV is just your standard CRT, I believe it's a 19 inch RCA. And I guess you've got a little cable box or something and a DVD player down there. Nice looking indeed. And this floor in the kitchen and dining room area, it's all wood. Now, you cannot walk in a spare foot. There are some sharp slivers on it, so you need to have something on your feet at all times when you walk on this. In here, it's all wood. 
but behind this calendar there's a little door and that is a hot water heater behind there I'm not even going to try opening it right now it's not that hard to open I just don't want to do it and over here it's a wall furnace and it's controlled by this thermostat right here let's take a look at the bathroom Got your light switches here. You got your light here. Got one burned out, as you can see. Let's switch your fan. Oh, sounds like something's rubbing against there. Part of a chimney or what used to be. A little storage. Then you've got your mirror. Hey there. Your vanity towel. Good water pressure. And over here you have the commode. Let's see if we can see what brand of commode this is. I'm trying to focus in on it. And I don't even know. It's got a symbol, but I don't even know what it says or whatnot. Anyway, for all you toilet lovers, this is the best part. Here we go. There you go. Over here we have your bathtub and old-fashioned standard shower curtain which isn't even screwed into the wall it looks like so it can pull down easily nice shower curtain I'll go ahead and turn on the shower good shower looks like it's got decent water pressure There's the bathroom. Back out into the dining area here. Just look at this wood floor. It is real wood. And now we're in the kitchen. Some real cheap ass ceiling fan. I don't even know what brand it is, but it's a piece of junk. Wobbles so bad on the low speed. I have a separate video of the ceiling fan that I will be uploading to YouTube if it hasn't been uploaded already. Got a clock that's about the correct time. This here is a carbon monoxide alarm. Got a little breakfast table over here. Refrigerator. It might have some stuff in it so please excuse what's in there. Not bad. Your freezer. Nothing major in there. General kitchen area. As you can tell, it's been used a little bit. This door is locked. We do not have access to what's in there. But behind that is a storage area for like yard tools and stuff microwave which supposedly doesn't pop popcorn too well but we'll find out later cabinets this cottage also comes with a washer and dryer which is very convenient and then in here is one of the bedrooms this is the bedroom that the group of people that I'm traveling with will be staying in during their stay got a nice ceiling fan here I believe it's a Montgomery Ward ceiling fan Let's get some light going. There's one light there. This also goes outside. I'll go ahead and open it quick like. Then I'm gonna open the other door. 
This cottage also comes with rollaway beds. This is one of them. This is not original to the build, but this bedroom used to be pretty big, but behind there is other tools and stuff we do not have access to. Go ahead and show you this other bedroom that I completely forgot to show at the beginning. But here we have another bedroom. Let's get some light going in that. Very nice. It's just an empty room. Nobody's staying in here during this stay. Little closet space. And now we get to go upstairs where there is another bedroom. This is the next bedroom. This is the third and last bedroom in here. And this is the room that I'm staying in. It's got a bunk bed. I'll be sleeping on the bottom. It's got closets that we can't get access to. Behind this another other rollaway bed. There are drawers that I can open, but I don't even know what's in there. This particular cottage was built in the 1930s. I don't remember what year though, or don't know exactly what year. Got a light. Table and all that stuff. Well, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this tour. We can't really get a decent view. Well, it's a little bit of one, but not much to see there. Can't really get one out that window. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the tour. And all I have to say for now is that's it.